Hey guys, it's Mr. Snooky here. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Super Mario 3D World. On the last episode, we completed 4-1 and Trooper Hill, and the ants were trooping on their hill. On this episode, we are going to be going into Piranha Creeper Creek, and I know I said I was going to use Peach, and I've already switched to Peach, but here's the issue. Looking at the name of the level and the whole model of the level that it's showing us now, it looks like it's going to involve a lot of jumping over piranhas, and... Although Peach has the cat suit on, jumping's not going to be her strong suit. So I am actually going to play this as Luigi. But I do promise that next episode, um, if it's appropriate, we are going to be playing as Peach. And then the episode after that, we're going to switch back to random. Okay. So we just jump over there. Can we, like... Can you just, like, go? Can you just go? Okay, so if we hit them back into the, into the swamp, they do die. This reminds me of... This is definitely, like, um, it was called Soda, Soda Jungle. Uh, from New Super Mario Brothers U. Do we have, um, do we need a fire flower? Let's just go for a fire flower anyway, man. Like, oh crap. Ha! <laughs> Switch back to the cat suit! And can I just like, yeah, there we go. Nice one. Just, just stay back. Just stay back. You can take their time because it seems like they weave kind of, uh, back into their position. I've got to say though, piranha plants are some of my favourite enemies in Mario. Just because they're just ruthless. Like, they can pretty much survive anywhere. They are essentially piranhas. I mean, that's exactly what they are, actually. Okay, get past you. Uh, there's another one there. This is obviously going to lead us to a green star, or maybe a stamp. Yeah, that's a green star. Okay. Oh. 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 Okay, that, we didn't even have to, like, jump there. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> right. Oh! Okay, I really thought we were going to get hit then. I really did. Just, just stay down. Okay. Nice. Um... Okay, so we're at the midpoint. We've got our first star, which is good, because that means we didn't actually miss one. The cats can swim, can't they? Now I'm questioning it. I'm questioning whether the cats can actually swim. I think they can, but I'm really not sure. Yeah, they can swim. Okay, green star. That just seemed too obvious. Like, that was exactly, like, where you'd expect it to be, to be honest. Like, it, it was obvious you could go down there because it's water. Usually I wouldn't do that, but... Uh, it was obvious you could go down there, because usually I'd be a bit sceptical about it being like a, a bottomless pit or something like that. But you could tell it was obviously water, and then the fact it was surrounded by two enemies meant that you were supposed to, um, like they were supposed to distract you and make you not want to go down there. Which made it obvious that it was a green star down there, so that's good. Um, anything up here? I feel like, oh, I see something glowing actually. That's got to be a stamp. Yeah, that's a stamp. Okay. Oh, we could have just jumped up there. I reckon we could have jumped on that piranha's head and, like, skipped that whole swimming section. Although the swimming section wasn't hard. Swimming sections in Mario, I don't think they're hard. I just find them really awkward to do. I don't really like them. Okay. We don't need that. Okay, we might need that. I mean, that's good for now. Like, if we lose the cat suit and get down to, like, mini Mario, that would be good. I mean, I, I don't know. Okay, I guarantee, like... Let, let me let me actually destroy all these first, because I guarantee the way this is going to work is once you jump through that hoop, it's going to be kind of like the red coins. Like you got to collect all the red coins and then you get an item or whatever. But when you collect all the green, uh, whatevers and then you get a star, because it's green obviously, so it can only be a green star. And the coins look special, so that means they're probably going to be a green star. How appropriate that Luigi is collecting green stars. It's just like. Just like Super Mario Galaxy 2. I mean, I know he didn't collect them like solely in Super Mario Galaxy 2. But like, they were basically designed to be collected by him, weren't they? Because you had to play as Luigi. You had to complete... If you didn't know, you had to complete Super Mario Galaxy 2 again with Luigi. Like, just the final level. You had to complete it again. Um, and then when you did, you unlocked the green stars. Which were essentially... Come on! Yeah. Oh crap, why did I do that? I'm going to have to come back here, aren't I? I mean, I could come back here in my own time, like I... Wait, can we, like... I'm wondering, actually. I'm really I'm really curious if we can... Okay, we've got 100 seconds to figure this out. I reckon if I can just jump on here... Wait. If I can, ju if I can like, jump... If I can do a spin jump, get on his head, and then, like... Go over to the other side. That would be just awesome. Yeah, that doesn't seem like something I can do. I'll stick with the 800. I will go back in my own time and get that top of the flagpole, though. 
just because I feel like it is vital that we get everything. I know that we need all of the green stars, all of the stamps, and all of the top of the flagpole to actually unlock the special world at the end, which I am intending to do, because we do it. Well, I wasn't originally going to 100% it. I was just going to go for completion. But we've done such a good job. Like, we got all the stamps and the green stars so far. It's just the top of the flagpole that seems to be letting us down. But I think we haven't actually had to go, like, I haven't actually had to go get a green star. I've just realised he doesn't have a hat. It's probably because he's small. Okay. So next episode, we are actually going to be doing Broder Blockade. Uh, we're going to be doing that as Peach, because I promised. Um, let me... And actually, do you know what I think I will do? No, I, I was, I was going to say I'll go back um, and do the, uh, the Histocrat fight just to get some cats. But maybe I'll do that, like, when I know what the next level is. Anyway, next episode, we are going to be doing Broder Blockade. I'll see you all then. Loads of coins. Coins galore. Give that a cheeky yeah. And I'll see everybody next episode. Have an amazing day. And a goodbye.